Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of How to Be an Adult with me. Today we're doing a little After Effects tutorial about uh, putting subtitles on your Instagram posts. You know, uh, in Instagram, um, every time you see a video, by default, audio is not enabled. So if you want to capture the attention of your followers or potential new followers, you need to convey your message straight ahead. You should not expect people to tap the unmute icon because they might not be in such a setting, they might be at work, they might be uh, commuting, They and uh, even if they can turn the audio on, depending on where they are, they might not feel safe turning it on because they don't know what to expect, what's coming out in your video. That's why it's a really great idea to subtitle your Instagram post so that anybody can get the message right from the beginning and after that if they want they can tap to unmute and uh, today I'm going to be showing you really today I'm going to be showing you a really easy way to put subtitles on your Instagram video so let's go okay so what I have here is uh, a post for Instagram that I created using a character animator and uh, here in After Effects and um, we're going to be turning this to this get the subtitles Okay, so I'm just gonna export the whole video without the subtitles and let's create a new comp out of that. So we have a blank canvas. Have here is a joke that Sluncho, my character from Mana Creatures, is sharing. I don't wanna post on Instagram. But uh, even now you cannot see you cannot hear what he's talking and it makes it uninteresting. You know that he's saying something but you don't know what. So let's put some subtitles on top of the video. In order to do that, we're gonna need two things. I'm gonna create a shape layer. And this shape layer, we're gonna use fill black and no stroke. Actually, I'm using like really, really dark gray. Be a bit better. Let's make this. Down below. Use our align tools to align it in the center and press T to bring up the opacity. Let's give it an opacity of 70. Should be uh, should allow us to see what's behind it, but at the same time make the text stand out a bit more. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go back to the beginning and put in our text. Just put some holder text for now and also align this and align it in the middle of our uh, black box. It's really important to keep in mind that the anchor point should be in the middle for both of those. Oh, it was already in the middle, but pressing control, you can center it here. It'd be much better if you wanna like squeeze it uh, vertically, if you get more text. And now let's go. So uh, if we go here to the content and then rectangle, then you can get the transform of the rectangle, unlink the scale, you can see now that you can only, you can scale only horizontally, you're going to be using that to adjust the width so it would fill our text. Then for our text, what we have here is we have the text property and we can animate source text. Make sure to click here and toggle hold keyframe so that it wouldn't be morphing but it would be like instantly changing. And what we can do now is we're gonna listen to our um, to our audio. You know, I took, I took part in World, World War II. So he starts with you know. Maybe we're gonna trim that a bit so it appears when when the curtain is opening. Another thing that's kind of helpful is, okay, let's let's clean up our timeline a bit. So for the text, I'm gonna press U, which would leave only the source text, only the animated property. And for my shape, I'm gonna animate scale. So you leave just that. And then to make it easier to figure out the text, I'm gonna open the waveform. So here he says, no, I, I wanna place you know here. And let me trim that. Okay, so here we're gonna be saying, you know, 
And now I'm gonna trim that to fill, to like encapsulate only my text. Let's play. No, I, took part in I wanna change it here when he starts to say I took part in World War II. So here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change the text. And then scale up our box. And you see that because we we animate the source text to stay, you know, and then change the text. But we need to toggle this here to hold keyframe. So now it's like that. And then it instantly changes. I'm gonna toggle this as well, so it's gonna be like doing that for every next frame. Okay, this is about where we're gonna be changing, so... When I lost my rifle. Things when I lost my rifle. When I lost my rifle, the army charged me 85 bucks. And here he says, the army charged me 85 bucks. Okay, let's use the door sign here. Increase this a bit. Your army charged me 85 bucks. That's when I realized why the need. And here should be changing again. Okay, we don't have for this font, but that's when I realized why. That's when I realized why why the Navy, the captain always goes down with the ship. Okay, why? Here we're gonna be saying in the Navy, the captain. And we're gonna leave the punchline for the last. Find the Navy, the captain always go. Go down. Always go. Always, okay, here. Always goes down with the ship. And I'm also gonna cover goes down differently because it's like the punchline. I want it to stand out more. Always goes down with the ship. And right here before I before the curtain closes, I'm just gonna trim that. You know, I took part in World War II. And when I lost my rifle, the army charged me 85 bucks. That's when I realized why in the Navy the captain always goes down with the ship. And that's it. It's a really easy and fast way to do subtitles for your Instagram posts. Of course, doing this for like a really, really long project would require a lot of work, but for something like that, it just takes a couple of minutes and it's gonna tremendously improve the, the, the engageability of your Instagram posts. Okay, I guess that was it for today. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you found it uh, useful or if you just enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. You know, I took part in World War II. And when I lost my rifle, the army charged me 85 bucks. That's when I realized why in the Navy, the captain always goes down with the ship. I learned you should never laugh at your girlfriend's choices. After all, you're one of them.